Coot here coming at you with another quick video. Why do I use hardware instead of just, you know, not? Basically, these are two descending rings. Webbing goes around the tree, right? This is for hanging up my hammock. And basically on this side, you can see I did the whole like old school buckle system where you go through both descending rings and then split them and then come back through one, tie it up, like pull it to get it tight. Ease of adjustability, just easy to pull, twist, loosen, whatever, especially when you're setting up your hammock, right? Just quick and easy adjustments. That's why I use hardware like this. And then also, why is there a carabiner here? Carabiner, clip in, quick, easy. I don't mind the extra ounce or two that this hardware weighs. These are actually pretty light anyways. Also, peace of mind. You know, 24 kilonewtons on a carabiner. Like, I know this sucker is not going to break even with my big booty on it. So basically then, hammock goes across. This is the Warbonnet Blackbird XLC Double. Highly recommend this if you're a larger individual. It's got the, the what is it, the... um. Not the regular neck cover, but whatever this cover is called, it's got that on it. And you still get some venting. You still get venting in the foot box, and you also get venting, you know, around the head area because it's got a little, like, window right there. See that window? But anyways, this is what the original hardware was like on the Warbonnet Blackbird XLC. Basically, I, I found that the, the, the sharp edges here were, were, like, prematurely wearing the loop, the Dyneema loop. So that's why I use the carabiner now. It's more of like a rounded edge so that it basically doesn't wear as fast as with these suckers. Is it still going to wear? Sure, of course it is. It's, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a big guy, but like it's going to wear less with the carabiner. Also just ease of clipability. You just clip in and you're done. Double hammock straps. Why do I do this? Again, peace of mind. Just know if you're a larger individual and you've broken a chair, hit that like button. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. It's just, we just want to feel safe. So over-engineered, redundancy, I get it, but it's just, I just want to feel like I've got the confidence to sit in this thing and know that, you know, also less stretch, by the way. So when you do your hammock strap thing, I found that when I was only using one strap, I get a lot more stretch and then I end up on the floor right at least now i've got let me show you the whole setup here but see at least now i slept in this overnight it's the same position as when i set it up like literally there was a little bit of stretch but not bad but i mean i've got you know your chair height pretty much is where it was at so that's why i use hardware doubling up on everything right doubled up on the webbing here as you can see, there's two pieces of webbing. So it went around the tree twice. This is a pretty big tree, by the way. And you get the idea. And then in the back, normally I do the two descending rings. I had barely enough room to tie a water knot here and have a little bit, have a little bit for the tails or whatever. So anyways, that's basically it. If you like what you're seeing, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button down there below. I will put links to the hardware and some other stuff that I use. There's my sprawl <laughs> in the description section. So make sure to check that out. I'm the old coot coming at you from Valley Forge Trail Camp up here in the Angeles Forest. Please leave it better than when you found it. That's all I ask. <laughs> I'll catch you all on the next exciting video review.